Hi friends. Okay, I know it's been a long time. <sighs> I'm just doing my best, okay? Here's the thing. I don't have the free time I thought I was gonna have now that I have a toddler. I'm just kidding. I know you don't get a lot of free time with kids, but I don't have a lot of time to do YouTube anymore. And I really like doing it. It's so much fun for me. It's not like a job. I don't make a lot of money off of YouTube. It's not like an income. Really, it's more of a hobby. It's for fun, you know, I like doing it for fun. And I don't work anymore. I'm now at home with my son full time and I need something for me, you know? Like I feel like I've lost myself. And so doing YouTube makes me happy. So I try to do it and I try to do it consistently, but that just never works out because I'm just not good with time management, I guess. Maybe that's what it comes down to. I guess this is like a little life update. So I started filming, or I was at least trying to start a new series where it was just like random stuff that I thought about that I was interested in, like the history behind it and like where did stuff come from. For example, I did one on how Valentine's Day started and then I did one on like the beginning of uh, pyramid schemes and where they came from. And I really like doing those. They were so much fun for me. Like I just, I like history and I, I read a lot and I, I like to learn facts about things and that kind of stuff is really fun. I've like, history was my favorite subject in school. I was always really interested in like government and history and like just, I love stuff like that. Like my favorite shows are like time period shows because I like to learn the history behind it and like what was going on in the world at that time. Anyways, so I really like that series, I guess, that I kind of started. However, it takes so much research. It takes like a ton of research. They take a long time to film and I just don't have the time to do them. I don't have time to sit down and research. I don't have time to film, like do my makeup for an hour and my hair and then film for like two to three hours. I just don't have the time. So I'm at a point where like, I feel like a, a lost soul. Don't get me wrong. I My son was very much planned. Okay, like we wanted him and we want more, but I don't know. It's just like, I have really lost myself. I feel like I, I really have. And it's kind of sad because I never thought I'd be that person, but apparently I am. And I guess I'm going through like a rough patch right now because I just don't do the stuff that I like doing anymore because my whole life um, is dedicated to my child. And it's okay, I don't mind it, but I find myself thinking like, I wish I could just sit down and do my makeup for two hours and like play with stuff and try new things and film videos and anyways, that's what I'm trying to get back into today. So um, he's taking a nap right now and I have a feeling he's gonna wake up soon because he's already been sleeping for about an hour. He's also down to one nap a day and he only sleeps like hour and a half to maybe two and a half hours on a good day but usually it's like hour and a half maybe two hours so i don't have a lot of time to like film film the way i want to so what i'm gonna start doing is vlogs because vlogs are easy for me i can just vlog what i'm doing around the house i have so much sister sunday footage i just have to edit it i've got to sit down and edit it but i want to just try to stick to vlogs right now even though um I really liked, you know, my, I called it Through the Looking Glass, um, my little series I started. I don't have time for it right now. So maybe one day I'll have time for it again, but right now I have time for vlogs. So that's what we're going to do. And I thought we could start with a beauty room clean out because this room is a disaster. I don't know. I do know what happened. Um, it was like a combination of uh, me and Matthew were sharing an office temporarily to not just having time to not clean it. Um, so we had family staying with us. My grandma had her shoulder replaced and she stayed with me for ab about three weeks, I think. And then after she left, my sister came and stayed with us for about two weeks. So our guest room is his office and he works from home. Like he probably, he works from home and then he goes into the office every now and again. So he had to move his computer into my makeup room. And it's funny cause when this was like a filming studio and when I did makeup and I took clients, I had it like set up, you know, for me a certain way. Like I had the two tables, I had my like chair where I would take my girls. So like one table 
was for makeup and when I was done with my client I would clean everything and put it back together and that would be like my filming space and I have like my monitor and everything so I'll, I'll show you what it looks like but it's not pretty <laughs> so he moved all my makeup to one table and then he had one table to work off of and I, I never reorganized it it's just like a mess but I want to really deep clean this room I want to declutter a bunch of stuff I want to get rid of makeup I don't use anymore I'm only doing my makeup like once a week or every other week if that and it makes me sad because I just miss it but on the plus side my skin's looking really good because I'm still doing my regular skincare I'm just not wearing makeup so my skin looks like my skin looks fabulous okay I can't complain about that however I miss like being my beauty creative self so I'm hoping that if I clean out everything and just make it like really nice and organized and like I want to get ready in here because I like the space, hopefully that'll inspire me to get ready more. I almost even just want to get ready in the morning, even if I'm just sitting at home, but I'm not motivated to do it. So I'm trying to get into that space where I get up in the morning I and I get ready, even if I'm just staying home with the baby, like I get ready because that makes me feel good, you know? So I'm going to, I'm going to try to start doing that. I'm just trying to change my mindset because I'm very much lost right now so you guys are gonna help me you're not gonna help me but you're gonna keep me company while I clean and declutter I also want to get rid of a bunch of old makeup that either I don't use or is expired I was going through my gloss drawer the other day and so much of my gloss was it like burnt my lips because it was bad so I need to do that I also had an orthodontist appointment today and I have to start wearing the rubber bands and my jaw it hurts like it hurts from talking because you can't like open your mouth all the way and this is supposed to be my last round I have 24 trays which is like five to six months but they're gonna have me go back um they gave me 12 trays today and then I'm supposed to go back and they're gonna look and see like where I'm at and what needs to do they said that I have this one tooth down here that won't move they also said that like my jaw is not aligning the right way so that's why they're doing the rubber band and then they did like some cleaning they did something where they like scraped in between my teeth so anyways I have 24 trays I'm supposed to go back in 12 weeks to have them look at things because I've had my Invisalign now for it's gonna be two years in June and I was originally quoted one year so something's not working properly and like the orthodontist said today he was like you should not have had to do all these trays like I don't know what's going on which he didn't I know that doesn't sound comforting he didn't say it in that way he was like basically like we need to try something else because your teeth aren't aligning the way they're supposed to so okay I'm also going out of town next week I'm going to visit my best friend and I'm so excited I'm so excited she lives in Cleveland um that's actually where I'm from like we're childhood friends we went to school together when I was a kid when I lived there I moved to Texas when I was 20 20 or 21 I can't remember now um but yeah so I'm from there like raised and everything and I can't wait to go back it's just like going home so I'm so excited to go home because I call it I'm like that's my hometown so I'm like going home so anyways uh she just had a baby in February so I'm gonna go see her new baby she's like so cute and she also has a son and I'm just you know I usually go visit once a year or she comes like we alternate but since she just had her baby I have to go meet my new niece so yeah I'm gonna try to get this place together oh god let me show you guys this mess I've got lipstick up here I have like stuff that I bought extras of because I love I hate this organizer these don't stay like they don't weren't made to fit in there properly but it's like I'm not gonna buy a new one because it's it's just not that like important and then these are all my extra eyeshadows so like this I know that this is bad I can tell just by looking at it so I need to get rid of stuff like that this is my blush and highlighter section this is stuff that I use every day I have lashes up here I have a habit of just throwing things in here because it's stuff I either want to try or stuff that um oh my god I'm drooling so much because of the rubber band in my teeth stuff I either want to try or stuff that is like I'm gonna need soon like concealer I always have an extra one of these just because I use it so often so I have that there and then these are my eyeshadows that I'm like currently rotating through I'm probably gonna switch these out to something different I don't know See, it's just like such a mess. This is why I'm so unmotivated. And then like, I don't know what that is down there. I don't know how long this coffee cup has been here, 
but this is where I get ready. Okay, so this is just like a freaking mess. I have makeup everywhere. I have like lashes, like just random, a chip clip. I mean, it's it's really bad. Okay, I brought I put the vacuum up here so I would be forced to use it. <sighs> there's my dogs. Like there's my cat. I mean, what's happening? Oh, you know what? I never really gave you guys a full tour. Might as well give you a mini one while I'm here. I put this shelf up. I tried to do it myself, but I messed it up and Matthew had to fix it. But this is where I keep all my eyeshadow palettes. I'm probably going to clean out these palettes too because I don't really use these. Like, I just don't use them that often. I just don't have time to wear makeup anymore, you know? But, like, this. I love this Naked Heat palette, but I just, I never use it. But I don't want to, like, go, you know? Like that, I don't use that. A lot of these, actually, I'd say probably most of these I got, or maybe not most, I'd say probably like 50% of these I probably got in like a boxy charm. So I've got this. I want to dust this. Like, I haven't dusted this in probably like a year. Um, yeah, but I've got these beautiful windows. I love these. There's my camera, but I can't find the battery for it, which is why I'm filming on my phone. I think. Oh my God, it's right here. I'm so stupid. It was literally right in front of my face. I, I just, you know how when things are a mess, you can't find anything. So I've got those two beautiful windows that let in really beautiful light. Um, this is my like women's empowerment wall. I made this gallery wall. Um, uh, I don't know if anybody's from Houston, but there was a freeze in Texas a couple years ago where the energy corridor, corridor basically shut down and we didn't have power for like three days in 20 degree weather. And so I literally came up here and put this wall together um, when that happened, cause I didn't have anything else to do. We had no power and no water. So I made this gallery. I had all the pictures. I just hadn't put them up yet. I want to take that down. I got this a long time ago and that's just not my vibe anymore. I think I'm going to replace that eventually. I'll probably replace this too. Um, but I got all these prints off of Etsy and I just bought really cheap frames. I think I got these at like Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I love that one's my favorite of all the different cultured women. That's Marilyn Monroe and Welcome to the Jungle uh, is one of my favorite songs by Guns N' Roses. So yeah, love that. I have this little table. I actually got that from my mother-in-law. I think this, this is green marble. And then this, I have the intention of eventually um, sanding it down and redoing it like refinishing it I don't know what color yet but I have that my sister gave me this book because I want to read it she said it was really good I have that plant um, this is my mirror hello um I want to do something different on here too this just isn't really my vibe anymore I just don't know what to do so here's my Ohio candle <laughs> Kara got me this for my birthday a couple years ago I was really like missing home and so she sent me that for my birthday I love it but yeah, like, that's this is just isn't my vibe. I'm going to fix this up. And then, oh God, this closet's really bad. I have all my filming stuff up here. That needs to be better organized. Like, it just, it needs to go. And then, da, da, da. Okay, I know, it's so dramatic. This is, um, this is, uh, <laughs> like, how do I explain this? This is basically all my empties. So I used to do a series on my channel a couple of years ago called Let's Talk Trash. And I started doing it like maybe four or five years ago. And so I would just collect all of my trash. Um, I don't know what this stuff is. This I need to get rid of. It's a generator my mom uses when she's here, but it died. So I need to throw it away. I just haven't done it. Those are extra brushes I don't use. But I never got rid of this stuff because I was like eventually... I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to do another video. And then I kind of stopped filming beauty content. I don't really focus on that anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of that stuff. Well, I'm going to recycle like, oh wait, I can do back to mad for that. But like this stuff, you know, I can recycle that. So I have to go through and like clean what can be recycled and then throw the rest of it out. Um, I don't know what the hell is down there. What's this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, these are donations. Okay, so I need to get rid of those. I have more donations downstairs. And then 
this is my kit. This is my kit on this side. Um, this is what I would take to do go do clients. I stopped doing makeup like two years ago. So all that stuff in there I'm sure is expired. I need to clean that out. That's my brush belt um, with my kit brushes. And then this was a ring light I used to take with me when I did clients. So I just need to clean out this closet. I also want to bring all my sweaters from my room to this room up here because ugh, the baby's waking up okay we're probably gonna have to make this a part two the baby's starting to wake up so i'm probably gonna have to split this into a couple videos but i guess that's like a little beauty tour beauty room tour and then maybe we can do like the declutter through a couple of different series so yeah um oh i didn't finish what i was saying i want to bring all my sweaters up here and hang them in this closet once i get this cleaned out i have like an obscene amount of sweaters that i can only wear literally like one month to maybe two months out of the year like not even two months i'd say like a month because i live in texas it's so hot here when i worked it was always cold in my office so i would wear sweaters to work even though it was really hot outside our office was always freezing, like at every job I've ever had, it's always like that. So I was bought a lot of sweaters because people here keep the AC so low because it's so hot outside. But it's just like, I'm not working anymore. So it's just not realistic for me. I literally have like, I would say like half my section is probably winter clothes and it's just taking up so much space. I just don't need it all down there. So I think I'm gonna move those up here. I'm gonna have to split this up because my baby needs me. I just have the tour in this video and just like a little update and I'll finish filming the rest of it when I have time. So that'll be up soon. Stay tuned for part two. We're gonna declutter everything and then maybe part three we'll actually clean and put it together. Okay, bye guys.